Yo, so what's up, YouTubers? That's my boy Phil S2K in the back. But um, as you know, since you've seen the caption, there is a problem. The BMW won't start. And we're gonna head to BMW right now. Me and my boy Phil S2K, he needs something for his car. And I'm about to see if there's some open recalls so I could get a free fix. What's up guys? So we made it to BMW. Look at that. They got an i8 floating in a glass display. Whoever made that is a marketing genius because right on across from it is the Garden State Parkway. Everybody driving on that highway can see that i8 floating in the air. What a sales genius. Yeah, so right now me and my boy Phil are at the dealer. We're about to go inside and see if I have some recalls, see if they can fix my issue for free. Get him some spark plugs because he has a misfire. And um, I'm using a DSLR right now with a, ro a road mic and a telephoto lens. So <laughs> I'm not bringing this in there to record. I'm going to look crazy. So you guys are going to have to catch me on the flip side. Yeah, this ain't Cali. What's up, YouTubers? We're back. So let me tell you guys exactly what happened at the BMW dealership. So basically... They took my car keys and they put it in this little reader and all my VIN and car information came up including any open recalls. So it turns out the problem that I'm having is actually under recall so they're going to fix it for free. And the only thing is that I have to tow the car to BMW. They also have an open recall for the airbag and the blower motor. So. At least I don't have to spend another big chunk of money to get this problem resolved. So right now I'm going to swap the headlight. Um, this headlight works, sort of, but um, a lot of the tabs are broken and the person before me tried to um, convert the Xenon to an aftermarket ballast and it cut a hole in the bottom of the headlight. So we're going to go put that on. You see the guy like glued the headlight right here and if you look on the bottom he like ran this wire through and zip tied the ballast right here so that's why I'm changing it plus the tabs are broken over here these hardware hold on the headlight so we're gonna put in the rest of the okay she works she works we're gonna see uh, turn signal So you guys can see it better it has two bolts right here and it has that rubber bushing and it looks like it has another clip or something in the middle over there i'm missing a bracket that goes on the top of here this piece is broken it's supposed to be holding this little clip to um bolt down the headlight so i'm gonna repair it with this quick steel Quick steel is a epoxy putty that you mix two parts together and it gets really, really strong. So I'm just gonna run some sandpaper right here and clean the area where I'm gonna put the putty.
Then I'll just clean it off with a little brake cleaner. So by the time that evaporates, I should be able to knead this putty up. I got this from AutoZone. It's basically... Alright, so I shouldn't need a lot to repair that piece. So I'm going to cut this like that. The, the second part of the epoxy is already in there. It's in the middle of it. So now you can see how it looks. A dark gray and then a light gray. Take the remaining plastic off. And then it's just like clay. Knead it up. So the idea is to basically shape back the piece that's broken. should feel it starting to get a little warm due to the chemical reaction of both of the compounds and um, once the color is nice and even with the two grays then you know it's mixed thoroughly you could start applying it it smells kind of funky too It got real soft because it's nice and warm. All right, so now I got the piece here. So basically I need a little bridge across. So I'm gonna try to shape this little bridge right here. Just try to get enough material on there, hold it in place. So maybe I should put this piece first, because I don't want to block the hole. Line it up in the center, and then I'll put the putty in it to hold that metal tab in place. When that dries, that thing shouldn't move, that little metal piece. And I, I would be able to screw in the headlight. Okay world, so I got a few things done. That headlight is officially on. I'm waiting for the next one. Um, I decided to use one of these vacuum chambers I use the T fitting from the solenoids and then I use the T fitting for the hoses that run across on top of the valve cover and I um, <clears throat> I secured the ECU compartment made all the wires neat got the stabilizer bar on and I neatened up the wire for the coolant level sensor because I was extended and I also painted this thing because it was a little rusty 
and I got the plastic underneath there but I got to return the other side because they gave me two of the same size or two of the same sides and this thing that I bought for 50 bucks this uh, oil cooler duct I'm so mad because I just found I just found one so I had it the whole time felt like I'm buying parts twice so yeah just I have it right here so I'm gonna try to sell all the extra stuff that I have got a lot of BMW parts laying around so if anybody out there needs something let me know Wow looky looky here you got the black girl next to the white girl